listen guys, the game is rigged. If you think that the system that everybody's playing in right now, the game of business, the game of making money, is designed for the player to win, you're dead wrong. And in this video, we're gonna talk about it. Think about something real quick. Since we're little, we're conditioned by our parents, by our teachers, by society, by the church, by a lot of different places within our environment to think and act a certain way. You know what I'm talking about? Exactly. It's like it's like nobody, no teacher wants to deal with the hyperactive, unruly student that plays outside the rules, thinks on his own you know, is entrepreneurial from a very early age, always a little hustler. In fact, that person's like the troublemaker, right? They try to put them back in the box. Don't, you know, don't yell, don't get hyper, don't try to do anything, just follow the rules. Our parents, a lot of times, they condition us to work really hard in school. When you grow up, you go to college, you get a nice, good, stable degree, something respectable right and then you go get a corporate job you work your way up the corporate ladder and hopefully if you work hard enough someday your boss will keep promoting you to the point where you can save up a little bit of money they'll give you a little gold watch and they'll send you off into retirement to live your so-called golden years but if you think that that game that society has literally imprinted into our soul since we were young is designed for the players to win? Come on, that, that you're dead wrong. In fact, in this video, we wanna to prove to you why that debt mindset, that work and save for retirement mindset, I'll just work really hard and save, 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 and someday I'll be able to live my dreams. That mindset, that condition to stay in the box, stay average, play small, settle, and be acceptable or have that acceptable acceptability acceptable bull, 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 bull. to you is acceptable bull, bull. <laughs> it's not yeah. because we're living proof that if you want to take your life to another level if you want more out of life more joy more happiness and to dominate financially you have to shift your mindset and stop believing that bullshit because I'm telling you right now if you load yourself up with student debt the credit card debt if you start acting like you want the Lambos and the mansions and all that stuff while you have a worker mindset, trading your time for money, all you're gonna do is dig a giant hole and find yourself in a bad situation where time has run out and you're no longer able to start the business or take the chances or invest the money because you wasted the time. Absolutely. Austin, yeah. how old are you? 23. 23 years old, look at that. Just driving the hot whip. You know why Austin was able to break through and get to the other side and start playing at a really high level? It's because from how many jobs have you had? 19. 19 jobs, mm -hmm. right? When did you start your first business? When I was set, eight years old. Had that entrepreneurial mindset. See, Robert Kiyosaki taught us when he developed the uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad training system and he developed the cash flow quadrant, he taught us that on the left hand side is trading your time for money. And on the right hand side is the path to wealth. And you guys have watched my videos, you know you can't work your way to wealth. I can't say this enough, I can't stress this enough. You're not gonna be able to save your way to wealth. On the right hand side of the cash flow quadrant is start a big business or invest. Those are the two paths, guys, and that is it. And what I admire the most about Austin is he combined those two worlds into one. And he made a decision from a very early age that he was gonna be an investor and an entrepreneur, and now he's one of the most successful real estate agents and investors in the game today. So let me ask you something, was it easy? No, absolutely not, no, it wasn't easy. I think that like you hit, you triggered something in my head where I think that the, the challenge that most people have is that it's not their fault. And what I mean by that is 
when it clicked for me was when my mentor told me a long time ago before you were my mentor, he's like, you, you're, he's like, it's not your fault, and it's not your parents' fault, it's not your friend's fault, it's not your teacher's fault. He's like, they just never got it. And you can't, it, he's like, if you wanna be like somebody else, he's like, you have to, like, if you wanna be good at, at, at soccer, you gotta follow David Beckham, right? If you wanna be good at basketball, you gotta follow Michael Jordan. Like, if you wanna be good at golf, it's maybe Tiger Woods. So he's like, if you're trying to make a million dollars, He's like, why would you go to, he's like, nothing wrong with your mom. Your mom's probably an amazing person. Your dad's probably a great guy. He's like, but if they make $40,000 a year, he's like, and you want to make a million, he's like, all of a sudden, their advice doesn't make any sense. Mm, right? That's so, powerful. So you have to find somebody where you want to live like them. It's unfortunate that they weren't taught how to be successful and potentially you weren't taught how to be successful. Think of this. Our parents, a lot of times, especially my age group, my parents' parents went through the Great Depression. One of two mindsets came out of that. Either they had a fuck it mindset. The money's gonna go anyway, so let's just spend that shit. Or they had a hoarding mindset like, oh my God, we can't spend any money. Scarcity. Scarcity mindset mm -hmm. because they were so in so much financial pain going through that period of time that they couldn't even fathom investing or starting a business. And the truth of the matter is, it's not your parents' fault, and it's potentially not your fault until you hear this message. Ooh, that's big right there. Because once you discover the truth and you realize the game is rigged against you, think about this. If you want to get to the finish line, there's all these booby traps, all these potholes, all these honey pots to distract you. There's, we just shot a video about this. Yeah. That where we were talking about the Instagram wall and everybody's highlight reel and how that distracts you into thinking, oh, I should go into credit card debt to get a nicer car mm -hmm. or to get better clothes or to get the cool watch or to take the fun vacation so I can take the cool pictures. That's a distraction. That's a honeypot. What about this? Go to school, go to college, get a job, work your way up the corporate ladder. Someday you'll be able to retire. That's a distraction. The system is rigged against the players from the beginning. They want you to go into debt. The people at the top, they want you to go into debt. They don't want you to beat them or be them. They want good workers that show up and put in their nine to five and work really hard and help them build their dreams. Think about it, guys, smarten up. That's not, nobody is gonna hand it to you and give you the map and say, come on, we're gonna show you the exact path because the reality is that's just distracting and taking away from their opportunities. There's nothing wrong with wanting the nice cars, but if you're gonna be able to get the nice car, you have to have the business and the assets to pay for it. You don't go buy the nice car before you get the business and the assets. That's backwards. You gotta shift it around. Short-term sacrifices, long-term gains. I'm gonna say it until you guys get it and tattoo it into your brain. That's the key to success. Work hard, yes. This guy's got more grit than anybody I know. He's fucking relentless, like a psychopath. Like he's an obsessed maniac. When he gets in his mind, he wants to do business with you. He gets it in his mind that he wants to do, to do a real estate deal. He will follow up obsessively. He will not sleep. He will not do anything except for drive towards that goal. Mm -hmm. That's what that's it takes. True. That's what it takes. But that's only part of it. Mm -hmm. The other part of it is you gotta be playing in the right frame, a uh, right set of rules. Because if you're playing by everybody else's rules, you're already set up from the beginning to lose. You have to break free and get over here and realize and educate yourself. Financial intelligence is what it is. You can't get that and sustain that level of wealth. We're in front of one of our rehabs right now. I want you to understand something. When I talk to people about real estate, and the reason I get so passionate and go freaking crazy over it is because I know what this business can do for you. The amount of money in these type of deals, buying something that's old and ugly and distressed in a nice neighborhood, but that's the ugly house, and uh, uh, renovating it and selling it for a profit, selling it for top dollar. We're already getting multiple offers on this thing. We just put it on the market, right? This is an asset. Our money is turning over multiple times a month and producing us more money. That's when you know you have an asset. That car, that car's not an asset. The only thing about that car is I put my ass in it. 
You know, like that's not an asset. It's fun as shit. It makes me feel good. Like the watch and the and when I put on the suit, mm-hmm. right? Don't you feel good when yeah. you put on the, the the nice clothes? But that's that's personal. That's just something that that you do to make yourself feel good. That car's not going to make me money unless I put it in an ad, put it in a YouTube video. You know, use it for marketing purposes. But the house is an asset. You need to live below your means for as long as you can. Rent the house. Don't buy it. Rent your house where you live. Live in an apartment. Live with your parents. Do whatever you got to do to live below your means. And on top of that, take every dollar. Go get two jobs, three jobs. Do whatever you got to do, especially when you have the energy and you don't have a family and a mortgage and student loans and all this other shit. Go get multiple jobs. Save every dollar you can and just start dumping it into real estate right buy as much real estate as you possibly can now and we highly encourage that you start a business in the real estate space that's why we have training and courses this guy's got a badass course um, called real estate mastery I'll put a link down below if you're a young millennial and you want to dominate I got tons of awesome trading and the bottom line is this step one is educating yourself who said that? Was it Jim Rohn? Yeah, said, I think it was Jim Rohn, yeah. Self edu- uh, formal education will make, make you, you a living. living. Self-education will make you a fortune. Yep. Right? Yep. And you said it best in the beginning, right? You said that once you know this, now it's on it's on you, right? Because once you understand and then you don't go out there and take action, then whose fault is it? Right? In the begin- right? If you don't know any better, then it's not your fault. But once you know, once you hear- heard this message, then... There's literally no excuses, <laughs> right? You have powerful technology at your fingertips. You have mentors all around you. You have specialized knowledge that you can learn on your own and self-educate. You have no excuses, all right? Now is the best time in history to shift from that trade time for money mindset over into start a business, control your time, control your freedom, build a legacy, do something bigger than yourself. Boom. And of course, invest your way to wealth. I don't have anything else. I love it. I think that's basically it. Super right. simple, guys. All right, guys, listen. You guys know what to do. Smash that like button right now if you got something from this video. Leave a comment down below letting us know your thoughts. And of course, go follow my boy Austin on his channel. I'll put a, a link to it down in the description as well. Check out his training course. And until next time, I'm Coach Spurber, the Clever Investor, here with my boy Austin Zabak. We'll see you guys soon. Take care. See Comb ya. your hair. We're out. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Hey, listen, while you're here, why don't you click the tab in the upper right-hand corner and grab my new book, How to Flip Houses with Little No Money Down. It's a step-by-step guide on how I got wealthy in real estate and how you can too. Hope it helps. Oh, don't forget to watch the two videos also.